Welcome back to Sip the Tally Films. It's me, Coach Evans here, and today we're going over another uh, draft pick for the Baltimore Ravens. We're doing Adafi Owe, uh, formerly known as, well, not formerly known, but Jason was his middle name. He was drafted as Jason Owe, but he wants everybody to call him by his original first name, which is Adafi, uh, Adafi Jason Owe. So today is what we're doing, you know, Adafi Owe, and if you follow the channel, you know I've been kind of iffy about this pick, but um, I got some good cuts today, and uh. You know, I may be changing my tune, but then again, I may not be. Roll the intro. So by now, we all know how fast Jason Owe is. That uh, ridiculous 40 time put up by a guy that size is just absolutely nuts. But, um, you know, we'll see how it translates. You know, if this is your first time here, make sure you like the video, uh, subscribe also, and hit the bell notification so you can be notified when I drop these videos. Uh, got a nice little schedule for the rest of the week. Um, it's in the uh, community section of the of my page. So if you want to know what the schedule is for the rest of the week, you can go there and check that out. But um, today's video, again, is a Dafi OA, and I appreciate you guys being here. Let's get into it. Dafi OA. Double O. It's right here. And we all know he had an amazing 40 time. You know, if you follow the channel, you know, I, you know, them, us picking him at 31 in the first round kind of upset me. But um, let's see what we got. Got a little stunt going right there. Didn't didn't get the sack. Didn't probably didn't get a pressure on this. But the fact that he made the QB move is in and you know is part of the the team concept him coming off let's watch it the three tech attacks the tackle he comes right underneath it the guard sees him too late but a guy with that speed if you don't see it right off the bat you won't see him so he, he gets a little nudge on him and runs him by the qb but the fact that he gets the quarterback off his spot because if he doesn't get his guy off his spot, that's a completion right there to that guy. That's a completion and a pickup of five. I don't know if it's first and 10 or what it is, but if this is first and 10 and they get that throw off, it's second and five, and that's a plus for the offense. So the fact that he got him off his spot and I got him, you know, and now got him running. So now he's covered. He's covered now by that, by that guy and, you know, by this other, these other guys. I'm sure it's somebody out here to the right. The air cover. Everybody's covered. Even though he still tries to go to that original guy. And he may still catch this ball. But that's not on OA. Yeah, he does catch it. But that's not on uh, OA. OA does his job of getting him off the spot. And uh, putting him in a situation where it's almost like a scramble drill. And it's up to the DBs now to, to kind of cover that. Let's go on to play two. OA is uh, on this side over here. I think this is him right here, I think. If not, we'll go back and, and redo it. Oh, look at that move. Look at that move. Watch what he does to this tackle. Again, this is this is Owe right here. Watch what he does to this tackle. The tackle tries to fire off. He stands straight up, which I don't like, but watch this move. Just basically disappears. This guy's doing a split. When have you ever seen an O lineman do a split? This is textbook on how not to play O line. And it's all because of the quickness of this guy. All because of the quickness of this guy. Now, hold it. That's a hold. That's a hold. So does he, does he make the play? No. Did they call holding? No. Should have. But that's holding. That's holding. And again, no, you know, no no sacks. And, you know, I was skeptical skeptical because he didn't have sacks and he didn't really produce versus Ohio State. But this is two plays where he disrupted it. And this should have been, if this was first and 10, now it should be second and first and 20 because that's a hole. And they had to use two blockers on him. Had to use the, the tackle. Then the puller had to come off on him also. So now the other, other nine guys got to make the, the play. All right, play three. Uh, I think he's on the same side over here again. 
on this right side of your screen. Got it coming in motion. Oh, let me let it play through my bad. Again, not in on the play. I just want to see what we what we are gonna get like starting Friday out of this dude. When when he, when they show up for rookie camp Friday, this is what they're gonna get. The molding process will begin Friday, um, May 14th, which is my birthday. Uh, start Friday when they start rookie minicap. But again, this tackle gonna fire off. He takes both, he gets his hands in great position. He gets both wrists, hands on both wrists. Now I'm gonna push him down and go where I wanna go. Push him out the way and I'm just gonna go around. He got perfect hand placement on it on the, the tackle's wrist. Now without his wrist and his hands are not inside, locked on the uh breastplate of the of, of Oway, he can kind of control the O lineman and do what he wants now. And you know the run didn't come to him, but I'm just trying to see things that he does well that are translating our offense. I'm trying to I'm breaking my own bias, so to speak, because I was really uh not happy with this pick. But, you know, these first couple clips right here is, is starting to bring me around to everybody else saying that, you know, he's his potential. And I have to keep reminding myself that he's completely raw. Play four. Um, I think always here. I think. I think this is him here. Let's see. What I got for play four? I got notes. I didn't even look at them. One, two, three, four. So I got quickness for this one also. Let's see what he does. This is more so discipline. If you watched um, my last tape about uh, Hayes from Notre Dame, I talked about how disciplined he was playing the inside zone. And this is basically the same thing and always the read guy. And watch how he sh keeps his shoulder square. And then once he sees the ball handed off, he just goes in there to make a play. Nobody blocks him, so he doesn't run up field like a fool, which is what they want to do. Because if he runs up field like a fool, the running back gets the ball and just cut it right where he went from. Watch watch how his shoulder stays square. Shoulder square. Looking at the mesh point. Looking at the mesh point. Looking at the QB. QB don't have it. I'm going to fall in and go make the tackle. Boom. Right there. Textbook. That's how you play inside zone. If you're the read guy. Nothing wrong with that at all. Picture perfect. Play five. Uh, round and goal line. Got a lot of plays around the goal line, huh? I think he back on the outside. I think this is him right here. All right, let's see what note I got for this one. Don't bull rush. Oh, that, that's the note I got for this one. Do not bull rush. So, we all know he's strong. Or we know he's fast. How strong is he? I'm not sure of. I didn't. I don't know how many reps he did. If you know how many reps he did. Uh, if they even did that at the pro day, uh, put that down in the comment section, please. This is a straight bull rush. He kind of stutter steps before, so I think in this stutter he loses power. If he just go, if he just go through him right now, he should be good. But this little stutter, stutter, and he loses power. The tackle, the tackle is high, but then he just throws him down. So it's not a. Not a great move. It's, it's he's raw. He's raw. So you know, this is part of his rawness right here. You know, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna knock him for this. Like I said, he's raw. They'll start to mold this starting um starting Friday. Play six. Uh, always here. I think my circle is not as crisp as the the program circle, but you know what I'm talking about. All right, what note I got for this one? Uh, pass rush move. What kind of pass rush move is this? It kind of looks like that bull rush again. It's just not not successful. Because we know how fast he is off the edge. So this tackle gets three kicks in before they even make contact. One, two, three. Now he's there. As fast as OA is off the edge, he should maybe get one. And he should be coming. But I think he's, I don't know if he's muddle rushing because their quarterback is mobile, which could be the case. So I don't want to completely knock him on it. Because uh, number seven for Nebraska was kind of fast. And it's like a draw anyway. Good thing 40 was sitting right there. So 
because 10 and 20, OA and number 10, which is the other uh, outside, the edge guy, 18 or whatever it is, they kind of rushed the same way on this one. So I think they were rushing to make sure he stayed in the pocket. And I initially thought this was a bad pass rush move, but after looking at it in slow motion a couple of times, I think they're just uh, QB containing, so to speak. Put that in Madden terms for people. They QB containing. Cause he ain't really he ain't, he ain't really trying to blow past that guy, or he ain't really trying to go through him either, like he did on the last play. So let's go to play seven. Play seven. Okay, this is the last one, and this is was my favorite one. Just watch. He's right here. This was my favorite play of this game. Setting the edge. I love it. I love it. I love it. We got some guys on the team that can't do that yet. Some some veteran guys. I ain't gonna say they're veteran, but they've been there long enough. He come, he fires off. He know he has C gap. Presses the tackle out. Look at that press out. Now press him out one hand, keeping this outside arm free. So if you decide to run out here, I got you. I got you. I got my C gap. I got contained right now. All this is me. All this is me while pressing this guy out, who's probably right around 300 pounds. So I, I mentioned earlier about not knowing how strong he is. This right here gives me an idea of how strong he is, pressing that guy out with one arm. The initial shot, boom. Now I'm pressing him out so I can see where the ball at. Now I see the ball and make sure I contain. Make sure I contain. Make sure I contain. And when you get close to him, I just fall in on the tackle because they got it. Somebody came and got it from backside. That's great right there. That's great. So with that being said, with that being said, give me a second. With that being said, you know, I don't dislike this pick as much. I think we could have got him in the second round, but he's a Raven now. And I see tools that can be formed and made to be a destructive force in the Wink Mart. In a, I said Wink Mart. <laughs> in a Wink defense. <laughs> um, it's... It's crazy how fast he is, how big he is. So once they start to put the Raven stamp on him, the, the edge stamp on him, by the time it's time for him to get paid, which another team probably going to pay him, he's going to probably be a monster. And I know this is a complete backtrack of what I said, you know, on draft day and before, even when I did my edge videos. This dude has the tools to be a freaking amazing. Now, whether he's going to uh, live up to that potential, I don't know. I don't know. But to be that fast, to be that big, and to not really have a polished, like like he still has so much more room to grow that it's it's crazy. It's crazy. He's going to learn how to, he can set the edge, and you saw that. And he's going to have to be a little stronger to do that because, you know, NFL tackles are probably stronger than that guy and probably better than that guy. Um but I keep thinking back to the Ohio State game. And, and I'm going to go back and look at it again. I know they used him as a read guy and kind of ran away from him a lot. But I just expected him to make some kind of splash play being as fast and as good as, as he was. Especially since they had part, uh, Parsons too. And you can't really try to direct your offense away from two people. So that's kind of the reason why I was tripping. Like he didn't have much production or didn't even really get in. I think he had one tackle. And one pressure versus Ohio State. And I could be wrong in those stats, but just from what I remember, that's what I saw. But I'm optimistic about um, Odafi Owe on the Ravens now. And um, you won't hear me say much negative stuff until games start. And um, he's not producing. But I think by the time games start through these camps and getting with the edge rushers on the Baltimore Ravens team, uh, I think he'll be all right. I think he'll be all right. Like, and if I had to redo my grade, I probably would change it from, a, I think I gave it a D. I probably would change it to a, a B minus or, or a C plus. I probably would. But hindsight's 50 50. I got to watch a little bit more tape on them. And um, this was my um, two cents about Adafi, Jason Owe. The second first round pick we had, I think he was pick number 31 out of Penn State. Uh, at 6'5, 260 something, ran a 439 or 43640. And um, that's my, my cue, man. Hey, I appreciate you guys for being here. You could have been anywhere in the world, but you chose to be here with me. Coach Evans out. Hit that like button, subscribe, notification game. Be out.